today just a quick video on how to change a simple garden sprayer pump like this cost me ten dollars the local hardware store shop holds uh, four liters ten bucks into a beer line cleaner uh, the reason I do this and uh, doing this is because I only have about four or five kegs um, and there's not always an empty one to wash your lines and you really should wash your lines some people will say once a week, some people will say every day, some people will say once a month. Um, but they should be done and you haven't always got a keg to use. So I'll show you what to do. Okay, we'll start with the posts. These are both bore lock posts. They both have the same thread and fit the same kegs, but they're a different style. And they're the beer side posts, of course, because we're cleaning the beer lines. They're not the gas ones. There's two different ones. This type here, the little poppet sits up there and is stuck up there on a, on a little ridge that has one of those in it. And it sits up there on the ridge. The other style, which we seem to be getting a lot of here lately, are these. It's just a spring and the little valve and that's actually only held in place by the keg post itself when it screws on it gets held in place like that so both posts have the same thread it's around a 9 16 JIC fitting which is used in a lot of automotive and uh, hydraulic type systems etc now it was hard for me to find one of them i couldn't go and buy it that's the piece there i'm using i couldn't go and buy it at the hardware store i had to get it from ebay but it was only a couple of bucks and the only one i could get goes to a uh that's a quarter tapered bsp so anyway that's all that's the only thing i had to buy for ebay everything else was at the local hardware store with the poppet fittings that are stuck up in there that is fine to use this joint's a bit loose. That's fine to use. It doesn't interfere with the poppet at all. So that can be just, you'd put on some uh, thread tape and screw that in. On these type of fittings, where the poppet relies on what's screwed in the back of it, I was a little worried. It seems to, if you screw it right in, it seems to push the poppet top up just a little bit too hard I, I don't think the, the quick disconnect wouldn't be able to push that down so I come up with a solution I couldn't find any steel washers that would fit over that thread and seat well on that shoulder so I had to use I found some prop, uh, little polypropylene ones from Masters was two bucks for a packet of five. They're nine sixteenths. And they're very tight fit. And I push, push one over. Like that. And I'll push another one over. Just for a bit more strength. And a couple of the bigger, I've got a couple of bigger ones which were half inch and they just fit straight over there and that should give enough spacer for when I screw the beer post on it's just sticking out a little bit it's not sticking out majorly and there's not that much pressure to push it down and that's what I want so whichever post you've got you'll be able to work this out with the same stuff you just need a bit of spacer if you're using these newer style posts so there we go again, there it is there. I've taken the washers off, we'll use the older style post. Of course some thread tape. Stop any leaks. Shouldn't need much. While I'm here I might put some on the other side. This is very thick thread tape, this you only need a couple of times around and that's plenty. So I'll use the older style one with the poppets up there, only because it's second hand. That other post is new and I'll keep that for a keg when I need it. Just 
screw it in. It's getting nice and tight now. So there we go. The next piece I had to buy, I also got at the local hardware shop, at Masters. They call it a quarter to quarter female tailpiece. Which is this. That just screws onto there. That tighten too. like that. Another thing I got the local hardware, just a little clamp, 6mm to 16mm. Take that off. Just a little hose clamp. Here's the end of my garden sprayer. You just unscrew it. Pull that off. All right, get rid of that. Stick your pot hose clamp on. Just do that on there. And of course, do your hose clamp up. So there you go. Done. Oh, but this one, this one, this Shh. one. Yeah, it is. Can Daddy talk? No. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. I'll do a quick video on how to use it and how to do clear your lines. Uh, that'll be up in a couple of days. But it's very important to have clear, clean beer lines. There's no point going to all that effort of uh, senators of sanitation and uh, things and brewing really nice beer to have it soiled soiled in your by bad beer lines it's very important some people say once a day some people say once a week some people say once a month but whenever you're going to do it and they do need doing i'd suggest once a week if you get the time at least um, but it's very handy you don't have to use a keg you can all your kegs can be full and you can still clean your beer lines Cheers. Look out for part two. <laughs>